The gently undulating dune landscape of Mason Bay on the west coast of Stewart Island is one of the largest unmodified dune systems in the country. At first glance it might look like a bit of a desert, but closer inspection reveals all manner of rare and precious coastal plants, and even a kiwi or two fossicking around in the sand dunes. Let's find out what this restoration project is all about. The project started at about 99, 2000. It's pretty much about species protection, and this is one of the key species we're protecting right here. This is Gunnera Hamiltonio. It's one of the rarest plants in Southland, if not New Zealand. It's done from about seven plants in the wild. Seven? Seven. Seven boys <coughs> and one girl. It's a dioecious plant, which means it has male and female plants. This one here that we're looking at is a clonal plant that stretches from just here to way back there. It's wind pollinated, so the males and females need to be fairly close together. So where's his nearest girlfriend? Uh, she's over the hill at Doughboy. The project itself is, is controversial because we, we're making a change, you know, from, from the marum induced stable environment to a more active sand dune. Why is marum such a problem? It's basically, it's a smotherer. It strangles other vegetation like these carexes, the, the gunnerers. It forms a blanket and oh, traps a lot of sand. Sand dunes are actually more active. They need sand to move around because the sand comes from the beach, high in nutrients, and brings those nutrients into the vegetation. If it's locked into the marum, it's basically the marum gets all the food, and everyone else starves. And I guess with the pingal back in the landscape, it changes the shape of the sand dunes and gets, gets the sand moving again? Absolutely, yeah. It's a lot more dynamic, more shifting. So it involves using a uh, grass-specific herbicide, which kills only grasses. You know, these things here, which we call broadleaf plants, are not affected by it. And so using a selective herbicide to kill just the marum and allows these other plants to survive. And have you noticed a difference since you've been working on the project? Oh, absolutely. Yeah, it's, it's phenomenal, the changes that we've seen here. I've stopped down here next to this plant, which is a vegetable sheep, which I'm used to seeing up in the high alpine areas of central Otago, but here, because the conditions are so harsh, they're actually growing on the coast. Do you ever see any kiwi out here? Oh, all the time. There's kiwi tracks right throughout this place. During summer here, the sun doesn't set till 9 o'clock, and uh, the kiwis don't set their clocks to it. You know, they just if they're hungry, they'll go out and feed. The Dune Restoration Project at Mason Bay is the largest coastal plant protection project in the southern hemisphere. And slowly but surely, the tightly clinging grey roots of the introduced marum are being replaced by a cloak of pinga, which is bringing the Gold Coast back to Mason Bay.